Greetings from Team Keep Learning. In this video, we will see frequency tables which we use in probability. Frequency. So first we have to understand that why we need frequency. So as I explained in my last video where we were obtaining a result of where, where we were obtaining a expected value of 23 and uh, the mark systems available was 10, 20 and 100. So 23 expected value was not making any sense. Okay. So many times the expected values are confusing and sometimes the expected values does, does not make much sense. So in those kind of cases we need frequency. Okay, so now let's take one example. Suppose we have uh, we have rolled two dice together. We have rolled two dice together, and the total number of outcome will be 36 in this case. So six options in this and six options in this. So now if we calculate expected value in this, it will be difficult for us. It will be difficult for us, and at the same time it will be confusing because sometimes we may obtain. Sometimes we may obtain expected value in fractions in this case, which is not possible because all the numbers on dice are whole numbers. So in that case, we will draw frequency table. Now we have to understand this. When we are rolling two dice together, when we are rolling two dice together, here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And the total number of outcomes or sum of two dice together thrown is this. Let means if I am throwing two dice, the sum of both the outcomes will be in the form of this table. So suppose on first dice it is 1, second also it is 1, so outcome is 2. First dice 2, second dice also 2 and then uh, outcome will be 4. So like this. So basically this table is the sum of this horizontal row and vertical row. Okay, so likewise 6 and 6 equal to 12. 6 plus 5 equal to 11. 6 plus 4 equal to 10. So this is the total number of outcomes when we are summing up the number obtained on the two dice and this total number of outcome will be 36, 6 into 6. Now, suppose I am throwing a dice and I want to know example of two dice taken together with the probability of getting a sum of 7. So I can get 7, I can get 7 6 times, 6 times means there are six times such chances are there where I can get seven. So here you can see in this uh, matrix where on the first dice it is six and first dice it is one then seven. On the first dice it is five, second dice it is two. Uh, on the first dice it is four, second dice it is three. Like that it will be seven, seven, seven. So six times the condition will be occurring where seven is obtained. Okay, where seven is obtained and the total number of outcome is 36. So, the favorable outcomes are 6, that means 6 times 7 may come as a sum of both the dice and total possible outcomes are 36. So, my probability of getting a sum of 7 while rolling 2 dice is 6 by 36, is 6 by 36, that is equal to 1 by 6. So, here in this case, the expected value P of e cap Ea equal to P of 7 equal to 1 by 6. So, 1 by 6 is the most probable answer. And still it is very unlikely. Still it is very unlikely. Why? Because it is having a probability of 16.7 percentage only. Still it is very unlikely. So, why we will make frequency distribution tables? Now we will understand. As I mentioned earlier, expected values does not make much sense and we are also not able to generate an interval for prediction because if we are predicting something, we cannot predict a sure shot value. We will give a range that it will range between this to this. So that's why we need a probability frequency distribution. That is why we need a probability frequency distribution. And, and what does it? It is a collection of probabilities for each possible outcome. For every possible outcome, you will write it in a table. And sometimes we, we will denote it by a graph. Sometimes we will denote it by a graph also and table also. So now we will see one example. Suppose now I am making a probability frequency distribution for the dice example. So here are the two dice outcomes. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the sum. This is the sum of that outcome. Let's say now I am seeking a sum of 2. Here you can see. So 2 is coming once only. 2 is coming once only. So its frequency is 1. 
and since it is frequency is 1 the uh, the probability will be 1 by 36 because total number of outcome 36 will be common to all okay now i am seeking a sum of 3 so 3 may come two times as you can see here 3 may comes two times so the sum of 3 frequency is 2 so the probability will be 2 by 36 so 2 by 36 is nothing but but 1 by 18 okay now i am seeking a sum of 4 sum of 4 so sum of 4 may occur three times may occur three times when i am rolling two dice so it may occur three times so 3 by 36 3 by 36 is 1 by 12 then then i am seeking 5 so sum of 5 may occur four times may occur four times 5 may occur four times so 4 by 36 4 by 36 is 1 by 9 similarly i will calculate it for all and and you can observe now it is first 1 2 3 4 5 6 and from the 7 it is again going 5 4 3 2 1 because again the uh, again the pattern will be same although the sum is high but its occurrence will be same that you will understand when you watch this video several times so the probability of uh, of getting those numbers will also be same so here what we did here we have divided the frequency by total number of outcomes and and we got the probability basically okay so now we will make a graph out of it now we will make a graph out of it so graph format of probability distribution so here you can see is that 2 probability was 1 by 36 and for 12 also it, it was 1 by 36 so 2 and 12 are at one place 2 and 12 are at one place for 3 and 11 it was 2 by 36 so both these are also at one place then 5 and 10 these are also at 3 by 36 probability so these are at same place this is this is known as the probability frequency distribution this is how probability is distributed and and usually when you are making it the highest bars with highest probability will formed around the expected values that is what i was trying to say when you are calculating expected values when you are calculating expected values it will always revolve around the highest bars as you can see here so instead of pointing out a single value you will give a range you will give a range and that is how your prediction will be more accurate and more appropriate that is what the uh, function of probability distribution probability frequency distribution it is the same graph only but we are interpreting it in this way that the highest bars with highest probability will formed around the expected value so i hope this important concept of frequency is clear to you if you have any feedback any doubt or if you would like to give any suggestion kindly direct it on the given mail or you can comment it in the comment box below thank you